Well, a Kent Middle School was closed today after police received reports of a shooting threat. An 11-year-old boy was arrested for that incident overnight. News 5's Catherine Ross explains now the text message exchange that alerted police. There are no buses, parents, or students at Stanton Middle School Friday. Police say a fifth grade student here is responsible for the relative quiet. There was a text conversation going on between two 11-year-old students of Stanton Middle School. A police report details that conversation, stating an 11-year-old boy told his classmate she was on his list for a school shooting. Police say he then texted, I like to watch people die. Those are horrific statements that you can't imagine any person saying, let alone an 11-year-old person. The school resource officer and school principal were both notified, and police arrested the fifth grader at his home at 2 a.m. Friday. He's facing a terroristic threats charge. He's 11 years old. He's just a little kid. You know, it's sad is what it is. Michael Longitano substitute teaches and formerly coached students that age and older. He tells us as his grandson approaches school age, he worries about school threats and the influences kids these days are facing. They get together, they're bullying. You know, come see, talk to your mom and dad or talk to the teacher. Go talk to the priest, but talk to somebody. Don't hold it in because this is... Yeah, it's going to ruin your life. Out of abundance of caution, school was canceled Friday here at Stanton Middle School, and police say that goes to show the ripple effects these threats have. And now kids are being kept home from school, and how does that affect our families with children being at home who are going to need to be looked after? This is the second school threat investigated by Kent Police in just two weeks, and many more have happened across Northeast Ohio since the school year started. Earlier this month, a 12-year-old girl in Lorraine admitted to posting a threat on social media. And they think uh, it's, it's a great prank and they don't realize the repercussions of it. In the Kent case, police are taking an unusual step in publicly naming the suspect. News 5 is choosing not to name him. This is something that can follow you for a very long time. Uh, you have to be responsible for your actions, for your words, for your text messages. Law enforcement and security expert Tim Dimoff agrees students should know the consequences of their actions. He recommends all parents talk to their children about using their phones and social media responsibly. A lot of parents think, oh, that's older students in high school or college that are going to do it. And no, it's trickled down into grade schools because of social media. Can police say they're working with the prosecutor's office and the school in this case? The student has been released to his mother. In Kent, Catherine Ross, News 5.